Welcome back to Stop Be Born A One. Excuse the noise that you hear in the background. My daughter is running around and she's doing what she wants. And I had to close the door to kind of minimize the noise. I just can't wait to move out, y'all. <laughs> so I'll be able to put her in her room or her playpen so she can just keep it down. But anyways, today's video is going to be um, lip swatches, live lip swatches of the Shan XO palette. I am so excited. I got this in the mail yesterday. And for those of you who don't know, Shan XO is actually a YouTuber. I think this is their third collaboration with a YouTuber that they've done to make a palette. Um, I have all three of them. I have the Missy Lynn palette, the Carly Bible palette, and now the Shan XO palette. This was the first time I actually stayed up all night to purchase a makeup product that was coming out live because I don't want to sell out or whatever. I don't know if I'll do it again, depending on the product, depending on the person, depending how dedicated I am to that, that person or that company or how much I really want the product. But this was, I was a little bit stressed out. It said on the, on the website, 12 a.m. it goes live. And I didn't realize it was 12 a.m. I think in New Zealand time. So in Canada, that's 3 a.m. So I was up at 12 a.m. I'm like, why isn't it on the website? I'm freaking out. And then I saw that it said, I think it said CST. And I was like, oh, 3 a.m. So I had to wait up till 3 a.m. And the day it, um, it came out, which was April 6th, I wasn't even feeling well. I was sick. So I was like, no, I gotta do this. I gotta try. 3 at 2:59 came or 2:58 came, and I was on the website from 2:40, and I'm like waiting, 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 refreshing, refreshing. I made sure to go through eBay so I can get my cash back, and nothing came at 3 3 a.m. It was on the website, and then it said it was sold out. I was like, what? It's literally just turned 3 a.m. How was it sold out? And I went to Shanexo's um, Instagram and I was like checking to see what other people were saying because I'm like, there's no way I missed this already because I've been here since 2.40. So I was refreshing the page, refreshing the page, refreshing the page like crazy. And then finally it said place order and I just went quickly, like, click, 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 click. And I was like, okay, I'm closing my laptop. I got my confirmation um, email and I was like, okay, I'm in. <laughs> so like I said, I don't know if I'm going to stay up again for another um, release. Um, for a makeup item, but I think this was fun. So it comes in it comes with 18 um, Eyeshadows and lip colors. So it's a double um, palette So I know you guys have seen my Mary Kay palette which came with three lip glosses and four um, eyeshadows the only thing with that palette is that the some of the dust from the, the eyeshadows gets into the lip gloss so you have to keep like a clear film on either the lip the eyeshadow side or the lip gloss side preferably the lip gloss side so that you don't get the fallout from the eyeshadow in your lip gloss what she did with this palette this is the box that comes in she made it double sided so this is the side where the eyeshadows are the nine eyeshadows and then this is the side where the nine um, lip colors are, or the lipsticks. So I'm going to open it. Comes with a mirror. It says Shan XO right here. And these are your colors. If you stay tuned to my Instagram page, I will have swatches of them. Either probably, yeah, you'll, it will already be up by the time you see this video. But I'm in love with these colors, especially this one. I got this this palette not just for the lip portion of it, because that's what I was really excited about, but mainly for this color. Um, if you know who CQ Beauty is, is here on YouTube, she says this is similar to Peach Smoothie from Makeup Peak, and this is similar to Cocoa Bear from Makeup Peak. And I needed a transition color that I could really commit to and always use because I'm really trying to up my eyeshadow game. Like, I really need to perfect it, you know what I mean? Especially if I'm going to be here on YouTube showing you guys um, looks that I like. And I wanted to start using this either on, on the brow bone, is that what it's called? Yeah, the brow bone because I just don't usually put stuff there. And I want to, like I said, up my game. So I was really excited for this shade, this shade, this shade and also this shade which is like a nice pinky let's watch this one it's like a nice pinky champagne color it's so gorgeous so now onto the next side the side that we're going to be swatching today i just have on natural makeup no eye makeup just mascara so this is what this side looks like the mirror is a little bit smaller and these are the colors every time like this little thing keeps digging up this one lipstick 
I don't want to waste any product or make a mess before I even use it, but this is what the colors look like. I'm going to take this film off of it, finally. Excuse the mess. <laughs> And I'm so excited for all these colors, especially these two top colors here, these orange shades, because I've been wanting to try orange lipsticks. Um, I have two lip liners here that I'm going to be using to wear these lipsticks with. I have the Mary Kay Lip Liner in Cappuccino, which is like a chocolatey, like a red-brown. And then I have dark chocolate for these last two colors here, which are the deepest shades. So let's just get into the swatching. This shade, right off the bat, I can tell you guys, these aren't super opaque, but they're opaque enough. If you're lighter than me, they'll probably pick up a bit better, but for the most part, I like them. I think my only concern would be I wish the pots were a bit deeper for the lipsticks because you use a lot more lipstick than you would eyeshadow. So I feel like the lipstick side is going to finish a lot faster than the eyeshadow side, if that makes sense. Um, but this is the first color, which is right here. This is like a nice, um, like a pink nude. It looks amazing. Let me see that right there. Right there. This is what it looks like on. It's super moisturizing. Blends out really nicely. I love this. This is like a nice everyday color. These colors are perfect for spring um, and summer. It actually can go year round since it has like these two down here, but yeah. She did a really good job on the formula for these. Like this is really moisturizing. It's not uncomfortable and it's not super shiny either. It's like a mid matte kind of finish. So this is the first color. Okay, so I'm going to skip these two, the two oranges for now. I'm just going to go down this way to the rest of the nudes. And then we'll do the oranges and then the pinks and then the last two colors down here. So I'm going to this middle shade right here. as well it's like a little bit less pink than the first shade we applied um, I didn't need as much of this shade to apply to my lips as I did the first shade so I guess it kind of just depends on the color and based on your skin tone which ones will be a bit more opaque for you but yeah so far I'm loving this palette and consistency and formula is still the same it has like this like like a cupcake almost kind of smell, like a nice sweet fragrance smell to it. But yeah, that's the shade. Now we're going in with this bottom shade, which is more of a cool tone nude. And this is more of a mauve nude, and this was more of a pink nude. So we're going in with this shade now. like a nice nude this is like a good everyday nude as well I'm liking these colors so far and I'm not just saying it because I'm a fan of Shanik so like this formula is really moisturizing on my lips to remove them and to put another shade on it's not hurting it's definitely not feeling like a liquid lipstick or a matte lipstick I like this one yes girl mm -hmm. this is perfect for like mommies when you want to glam it up just a little bit on your everyday kind of look mm -hmm. this is it so that's this shade right here. Mm -hmm. 
Now we're going in with this top shade right here. This first orange is for those who aren't super brave to be wearing like extreme bold colors. This is perfect for you. This can also go every day or if you're going out in the spring or summertime and you want to add a little bit of color to your face. This works and I'm wearing it, like I said, all the shades that I've worn so far, I'm wearing it with Mary Kay's Cappuccino Lip Liner which looks like so. So it's a nice warm red brown for you guys that were wondering what I applied to my lips prior to putting the lipstick on. Formula is the same. I was hoping it was a little bit more opaque like it looks in the pan. However, I am happy that it isn't because this way I can build it up or I can wear an orange lip liner underneath it and then apply this on top of it, um, you know, to like finish the look and complete the look. But I really like this color as well. I have not been disappointed by any of the colors yet which is a good sign because I don't know if I said this already I paid $14.50 for this palette and I think it goes up to $22 I think or something like that I'll leave the proper information on the screen and down below for you guys now onto this more red orange this one is more of a peachy kind of nudie orange and this is more of a coral red orange Woo! Yes, this is the orange I was looking for, you guys. I'm so excited because I've been dying to try orange lipstick and I actually like this one. I would definitely wear this with like a bronze kind of face or a gold face, um, a gold eyeshadow, brown eyeshadow kind of look. Um, or even like a dark brown smoky eye would look nice with this or copper smoky eye. This is more bold. This is for like events. Now that summer is coming up for events you're going to, barbecues or even like... Um, concerts this would be great to go and I obviously wouldn't wear it with this top but <laughs> probably should wear black today but yeah this is this color right here and I didn't need a whole lot either you guys which is good now I'm going in with this um cool toned purple lavender shade it kind of reminds me of up the am Yeah, definitely reminds me of Up the Amp. I think Up the Amp might be a bit more opaque um, and a little bit more of a, like a brownie kind of under. Again, perfect for the spring summer. I like this. My lips are getting a little bit raw now. I do have to go in with um, some moisturizer after, but we're going into this extreme hot magenta pink here. It has like a blue undertone.
as you can see that blue pink lipstick kind of stained my lips and it could be because of all the other lip colors as well like the purple one before kind of stained my lips but now I'm going in with Mary Kay's dark chocolate lip liner for the deeper colors and I'm going to line my lips going in with the red lipstick this is like a more of a dark red so for the red lipstick this is how much came on the brush from me dabbing it in I will say not all the lipsticks have the exact same consistency per se some of them are a bit more thicker with um, how opaque they come off and some of them are a bit more thinner some of them when you dig them up they don't come onto the brush as quickly but you also don't need as much. So like for these colors, one, two, three, four, uh, five, and six, I would say you need a, a decent amount comes on the brush because I guess it's a different, it's a bit looser for these colors. I'm just going to take a little bit off. So this is the red. This color is very deep and it's a little bit sheer because you can see my lip through. It's not horrible, but it's not a color I would gravitate to. I think this color is a color I would put on top of a brighter red or I would mix with the orangey color to give me a brighter look. Or once again, a lip liner with a different color, like let's say a brighter red underneath. Or I would even mix this with like a really pale, new lipstick to give it a different color. I don't like this so much on its own. It is gorgeous, just not personally for me. Especially when I tan, I feel like it looks even worse. I need blue-based reds for my skin tone. That's just how I feel. Um, this one's a bit too dark, but nonetheless, I put, maybe in the winter time I'll like it a bit more, especially when I layer it with other lipsticks. But this is what this one looks like. So I had to use a wipe to remove the rest of the lipstick because it was definitely staining my lips. It could has, could be either just simply this dark color because it's so dark or just because of an excess of using multiple colors on my lips and my lips are feeling so raw right now. But now I'm going into the very last color which would be this deep vampy purple. Like guys, I barely touched it. Can you see like the dent in it? I barely touched it compared to this one. So, wow. I like this one. If you wanna make these matte lipsticks, just use a little bit of translucent powder um, and press it into your lips, but girl, I like this one. I didn't need a lot like I said. This is great for date night or you can just save the two last lippies for fall winter or if you don't care you can wear it whenever you want. <laughs> but this is the last lipstick color. Okay guys so overall I would give the lipstick side of the Shanix O palette I want to say a 9 out of 10 simply because the red lipstick like I said it was a lot more sheer and it wasn't my favorite and because I needed a lot of it and also because I feel like the lipstick um, pans should have been a bit more deeper um, versus the eyeshadow pans which don't need to be as deep because eyeshadow lasts a lot longer than a lip a lipstick but overall I think Shannon did a great job congratulations Shannon um, I'm so excited for you 
and I can't wait to if you want to see looks on how she uses um palette based on her skin tone definitely check her out I'll have her um channel linked down below I will do a few looks um um, using both the eyeshadow side and the lipstick side together. So stay tuned for that um, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to start using it you guys I'm gonna be bringing with me. I'm going away for a little mini vacay I'm going to be bringing it with me to be testing it out so I can come and show you guys some of the looks that I can create with this I think this is perfect for traveling like I said um, Because you have an array of different colors to use um, For different looks and different outfits different events um, and then also the eyeshadow looks you can do a day and night look same um, as the lipstick as well So definitely stay tuned to see um, more looks I create with this palette Anyway guys, thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you in my next one